In 2022, Karim Benzema was awarded the Ballon d'Or. De cette récompense, c'est pour toi, Karim Benzema. When I tap that one, gotta take my time. I hit that left to the touch. Football is lucky to see Karim play. Oh, on God, I'm all right. I want I'm with is a ten. Graham Benzema has been one of the best forwards in the world in the past five years. Being in the discussion with Harry Kane, Ronaldo, and Mbappe among many. But take this story two years into the future, Benzema has now been almost forgotten. What happened? Well, let's take this story from the top in 2022. Ahead of the 2021-22 season, Karim Benzema had been the mainstay striker at Real Madrid for almost 15 years. Becoming one of the club's highest goal scorers of all time, he has been the heart of the club's attack for almost his entire stay at Real Madrid. He has won over 20 trophies with Real Madrid and has practically completed football at this point in his career. He has scored 279 goals over his stint in Spain and the start to his 2021-22 season was one of the best individual performances that football has seen in years. At the beginning of the season, he was promoted to the team's captain with the departure of Sergio Ramos to PSG and from match day one, the goal started to rein in. Here's Benzema, he's going to start every game. Benzema, and he can Benzema weaves inside, gets around a lot of obstacles, and gives Real Madrid a chance. By January, he had a total of 20 goals in all competitions, but that isn't the most impressive part of what he had done this season. Karim Benzema was the main driver of Real Madrid's incredible track record in La Liga, with 27 goals and 12 assists by the year's end, and becoming Real Madrid's third all-time top scorer in 2022. He showed us that he wasn't just the team's poacher, but he could also play the role of creating goals for his teammates. Real Madrid easily went on to win the La Liga title in 2021-22 by 13 points, and Benzema won La Liga's Golden Boot Award and was voted as the best best player of the season for the second year in a row. But his best performances came in the Champions League. Real Madrid are the best team to historically ever compete in the competition, but this season he was clearly on another level. Real Madrid's dominance in the UCL this season was unparalleled to anything I've seen before from Los Blancos and Karim Benzema was leading them through all of it. In the second leg of the round of 16, he came in clutch, scoring a hat-trick to get Madrid out of a 1-0 deficit against PSG. This made him the oldest player to ever score a Champions League hat-trick at 34 years of age. In the next stage of the tournament, Real Madrid faced the reigning champions, Chelsea. This was a very tense match from the get-go, but at the Bernabeu, Real Madrid came away with the win and Benzema scored another hat-trick, becoming the only player since Cristiano Ronaldo to score back-to-back -back UCL hat-tricks. In the second leg of the quarterfinals, he scored a header which proved to be pivotal when Real Madrid beat Chelsea 5-4 in aggregate in extra time. Single-handedly, Karim Benzema had gotten Real Madrid through some of the toughest opponents in Europe, and it only got harder when they faced Man City. In the first leg, Benzema scored a brace with this Panenka penalty and lost 4-3, but against all odds, Real Madrid would make one of the most historic comebacks in all of football. What a fantastic finish into the top corner from Rian Mahrez! And then Real Madrid went on to famously beat Liverpool in the final, and Karim Benzema was awarded the Golden Boot and the Best Player in the Europe Award. By the end of the campaign, Karim Benzema scored 44 goals in all competitions, and was awarded with the most distinguished and honorable award in all of football, the Ballon d'Or. Almost all the football fans could agree that Karim Benzema was the rightful winner of this award going into the 2022-23 season. In the following year, Karim Benzema was just as good as the last, and he once again was the main man for Real Madrid. He showed a remarkable ability to score from a variety of situations, combining his technical finesse with physical prowess. His playstyle of intelligent movement, clinical finishing, and a strong aerial presence made him one of the most lethal strikers in all of La Liga. And Benzema's season was not just about individual brilliance, it was about leadership and impact. He stepped up as Real Madrid's sole leader, especially in the Champions League, where he maintained a record of scoring at least one goal a season for the 18th successive campaign, equaling Lionel Messi's record. From when Benzema signed fans that loved this guy and the thought of him leaving at the end of the year seemed completely insane, especially considering the form he was in at the time. He ended the 2022-23 season with 31 goals and 6 assists. Not as many as last year, but still, at 35 years of age, this was insane. Almost on the same level as Cristiano Ronaldo back at Juventus. By this time, he had done it all at club level, winning every single trophy he was able to multiple times. And with his contract expiring in the summer of 23, there was lots of speculation on his future at Madrid. On July 1st, the club admin would drop a bomb, releasing a statement saying that Karim Benzema would leave Real Madrid in the summer of 2023. Some fans thought he would move to another huge European club, but no. Instead, lots of interest came from the Middle East and the Saudi Pro League, and they had already signed tons of other quality players. The league was starting to grow in quality and was attracting lots of fans. On top of that, the offer made by Al Ittihad was almost irrefusable from Karim Benzema's standpoint. 
Benzema is the latest soccer megastar to join Cristiano Ronaldo in the Saudi league, reportedly signed a deal worth more than $200 million over two and a half years. The amount of money offered by Al Ittihad was groundbreaking in the transfer market, and Benzema joining the Saudi Pro League project made the league look a whole lot more impressive, and fans expected him to absolutely ball in the Saudi League, especially considering he was joining the league champions at the time. But that would be a lot easier said than done. But before I continue on with this video, if you guys could do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, it would really help me out. Thank you. Kareem Benzema's start to his stint at Al Ittihad was for the most part underwhelming. He was instantly given the armband when he joined the club, and in his debut managed to score and assist a goal, but overall his performances were pretty average in the league. And things off the pitch did not start off so well either, as he had a public feud with the manager Nuno Espirito Santo, who was then sacked, and then again with the replacement manager Marcelo Gallardo, who ended up stripping away Benzema's captaincy, because he was late to training and other disciplinary issues. As he continued to play for Etihad, he started to score a few goals, but overall the form we had seen at Real Madrid had been long gone. Benzema was no longer the same player he was two years ago. He was consistently just left out of the squad on several occasions, due to several different issues with the management, and as far as his contributions to the score sheet went, up until the new year he had played 19 games and scored 12 in all competitions, which wasn't terrible, but almost everyone was expecting more from him. Keep in mind Al Ittihad were Saudi League champions last season. Fast forward to today, they are now sitting 25 points behind first place. Not quite the start Benzema was looking for in the Middle East. But as we are now just past 4 months into 2024, Benzema's form has only gotten worse. Since returning from the January break, Karim Benzema has only played 6 games for Al Ittihad and has scored a grand total of 0 goals. Yes, 0 goals in league and cup competitions combined. It's hard to explain the exact reason why Karim Benzema has struggled so much in the Saudi Pro League environment especially when other players of a lesser caliber have done quite well. Even Karim Benzema has come out and spoken on this topic, saying that, I need help on the pitch, I can't win one game alone. I need another player, I need a lot of things. But it's different, it's my first season in Saudi, I hope I finish the season well. I hope I win. That's it. It is clear to see that his attitude toward the club and his team isn't the best considering he said that he needed another player to help him in winning games, when he isn't even the top scorer on the team. And when he said to reporters that he hopes he finishes the season well, it clearly tells us that he isn't playing in the best interest of the team and very quickly, things might go south for Kareem Benzema. Even though he signed a 3 year deal with them, as the age old saying goes, no player is bigger than the club. Thanks for watching this video, if you liked it you can watch another over here, but before you do that subscribe right under it and I'll see you guys in the next video.